Leo, welcome to Divine Debut. Nice to have you all on board. Thank you for having me. First of all, I would like to apologise why these readings are not up for mid-month. These readings are up for the 20th to the 31st of July 2016 and they are focusing on love. Now the reason why they are late, there's always something happening in my life recently, you guys, I swear. Uh, as much as I want to be on time, it's just not happening. Now I've moved overseas for a couple of months and the trip, instead of taking 30 hours, took us 60 hours. We're lucky to be here nice and safe, um, exhausting, utterly exhausting. After moving house, we moved overseas and here I am finally trying to work out all this technology side of things and do my editing and everything. So that is the reason why I'm running late. Um, I do feel bad about it, but I can only do so much. I'm only human, so I'm here now. First of all, I would like to thank you all for, for your patience. Then I would like to wish you all a happy birthday. Your, the sun is going into your sign, I think, on the 22nd of July. Happy birthday to you all. Um, your new year is beginning and all the blessings in the world are supposed to be coming for you. Now, I am a moon Leo, so... Um, hopefully some of those blessings will wear off on myself as well. God knows I can use them. Now, um, we do have a full moon in Capricorn on the 19th. Today is the 18th of July. Um, I'm trying to get all these readings up by the 20th. Um, the full moon is supposed to be a lovely one. It's supposed to be a culmination. Uh, it is in Capricorn, which is the goat who tries to climb the mountain. They put their first gear in and they climb and they persevere. So whatever difficulties and whatever hardship we've all had, hopefully we'll be able to make it to our goal and hopefully the universe blesses everyone with their heart's desire. I do wish you all well. Now... Mm, I'm not going to talk too much about astrology um, with these readings because I'm not that, I haven't had that much time to um, keep on track regarding astrology. But I am doing the Celtic cross for you um, again and I am pulling some Sibelas on the cards that I need more clarification with. Now, Leo, um, we start off with the Five of Cups. Now the Five of Cups is not such a negative card, even though it looks as though it is, because this guy is sulking, he looks really down, and some people call it the morning card, but I never like to see this card as a totally dark card, especially when it is surrounded by such beautiful cards that you have. Uh, the Five of Cups to me, um, I like to focus on the love side of things because the two cups are still standing behind this person. He is focusing on the three that have spilt, but um, that's the way life is. Not everything can be dandy and positive. Always there will be some negative things in our life, but we always have to look on the bright side, right? Now these two cups are standing behind him and... Um, Two cards, uh, two, sorry, two cups, two people. We are talking about love and relationships and those two cups are still standing. So not all hope is lost. That's how I see this card. Um, especially when it's surrounded by, wow, the outcome card is the, the Ace of Cups. So we've also got the Knight of Cups. We've got the Page of Cups. Um, we've got the Two of Cups. We've got the magician. What else do you want to hear? Um, now, your challenge is the uh, page of rods. This is either this page of rods is either challenging you or helping you. Um, I would say that it's a bit of a challenge because as we look at the card, this little this young boy is is calling something out. So there is a message. 
um, from a fire sign, someone who is showing up as a fire sign, um, there is a message being sent out, a very youthful, very passionate, very burning sort of a message. And I'm thinking this is you guys being Leo, fire sign, um, acting very innocently, but also a lot of passion in this message. So I think that you are, um, I think you're taking charge this month and uh, showing your true colours. Uh, you may have been a bit down because we've got the Five of Cups. Maybe you were let down, maybe there was some truth that came to light because we've got the Ace of Swords which is in the near past position. Now I usually see the Ace of Swords as quite a positive, as quite a positive card. Um, sometimes the news that comes in, the aha moment, the, um, the clarity, sometimes it may uh, strike us as not being so positive but down the track sometimes the truth can be a little bit more how can I say enlightening, a bit more strengthening because we, we get used to um, how things are. We um, learn to accept the truth and then we uh, um, work out which is the best path, the best path to, to take, to continue on. So maybe there was a bit of a disappointment but I don't think it's much there, not much disappointment there at all. I think you're actually taking charge because... Um, we are, your reading is crowned by the uh, the Knight of Cups and yes this could be a water sign. Um, my intuition because we do have the page of uh, cups as well at the bottom of the deck. My situ my um, sorry my instinct is that uh, there are going to be offers of love here. Now um, uh, some of you may have like maybe showing up as water, as a water sign. Um, we've all got water in our chart, but uh, sometimes we tend to take on the energy or the um, the traits of a water sign. So um, yes, some of you may be actually um, dealing with a water sign, which is Pisces, Scorpio um, or Cancer. But I'm thinking, and uh, very strongly actually, that um, I think you are giving out the message of love. You are um, showing your um, emotional side um, and there is going to be a, um, an understanding from your partner, from your beloved. Um, I think the feeling is mutual because this is a number one love reading. We've got the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Um, I think it's absolutely beautiful your reading, but uh, I my instinct is telling me that you are um, you are you know opening up and uh, revealing your feelings, your true feelings, and I think that the, um, the that there will be reciprocity. Um, the two of cups being in the near future position, that is the card of reciprocated love and uh, feelings and. Uh, two minds coming together, two mind, body and soul, two people being on the same page and understanding the love that one has for the other. How beautiful. Um, now at the, at the base of your reading, at the bottom, uh, the root of the matter is the Hierophant and the Hierophant um, could speak of wisdom, could speak of marriage, could speak of um, partnerships, of uh, beliefs, our beliefs, our spiritual, you know, side of uh, things. Um, more than likely, I, I see this person as um, giving you wisdom, and also for some of you, this is going to be. Um, you get to the point where you have uh, decided to tie the knot. You have decided to take the next step in your relationship. For the people who are already partnered. I think your your relationship is moving to the next level, and for the people who are um, who are single, um, I do have some sabilas here. As you can see, um, I would say that there is a reunion because one of the sabilas is is telling me that. So I think that there is someone from the past which is 
coming back into your life um, and that's going to be known to you. You're probably living that now um, because I do think that the Ace of Swords, which is in the near past position, I do think that that was part of the clarity, part of the um, the uh, the information that you're waiting on um, has given you the uh, the oomph and the strength to to come forth and to uh, reveal your true feelings. Now, um, in the advice position and how people see you, you've got the fool. And the Fool is a major arcana card. The Fool is the beginning of a, a new cycle. So I think you're taking a plunge. Taking a plunge in love. You're going for it. If you could see the Fool in that picture there, he's actually looking up at the page of rods. So you are taking the plunge. You are um, telling the person, um, you know, the person who is in your life, the person who is... Um, in your heart, I think you are actually letting on uh, fully. You're telling him or her exactly the way you feel. And you don't care about the outcome. You don't care because you're the fool. The fool um, goes ahead. He, he steps on his new path. He doesn't look down. He looks up in the air. He's jolly and he's taken a little pack with him, a little um, lunch pack with him. And he's on his way. He doesn't care about tripping over, falling over the cliff and, you know, getting harmed. He just moves forward. Big risks. Logically, we should have had the, uh, the wheel of fortune here, but it didn't show up in this reading. Anyway, in the environment position, we've got the Three of Cups. And to me, the Three of Cups talks of celebration here. I do not think this is a three-way situation. For most of you, it's not. Only for a very small percentage of you guys, it is going to be because three to me means, yes, love triangle. Now, for some of you, you have come out of a relationship, um, not necessarily marriage, but a relationship, and you are moving forward on a new new path with a um, someone here who is showing up as a water sign. Um, it may not be a water sign, you guys. It may not be a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. Um, it could just be someone who is showing up as a water sign. And for others of you, it will. It will be a water sign. Now, for very few of you, it's going to be a Taurus, I would say, because the Hierophant is the card of Taurus, right? And the Hierophant does talk about marriage. So maybe this is the stability that's coming in your lives. Okay, so, um, yeah, celebrations, I would say, are coming in. Now, you're either um, celebrating a relationship or you are being invited to weddings, christenings, um, parties, etc. Or there's going to be a lot of getting together, going out, uh, meeting up with friends and so on. Maybe this new relationship will... Um, the doors will open and you will be much more sociable, much, you know, meeting a lot of new people, obviously. When there is a new partner, we have to meet all their side of the uh, the family and the friends and so on. So, um, yeah, the Three of Cups is a, is a lovely card to have there uh, in that position, in the environment position. And the Three of Cups has been quite common in these readings. Yeah, quite common. So I can see that there are a lot of celebrations, a lot of going out, um, a lot of endings and uh, a lot of new beginnings at this time of the year, which is nice to see. Now, in your hopes and fears position, you have the Six of Pentacles. This is also a card of reciprocity. This is giving and taking, giving, receiving, being generous and um, a lot of earthly energy here. So. Um, Generosity, um, understanding, uh, loving, a lot, a lot of give and take. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Okay, now the outcome card is the Ace of Cups. Uh, the Ace of Cups is the card of love. It means your card is 
overflowing with happiness. There is a lot of uh, water here, a lot of Neptune I can see. I've got the um, Page of Cups in, uh, and also the Knight of Cups. We've got the Five of Cups, we've got the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups. I think this is Neptune in retrograde because um, I think that the truth has come to light for you guys because Neptune being retrograde is actually taking off the rose-coloured glasses. I think the truth is coming forward. You're actually going to see things in the light of day, which is wonderful, and you are going to be making magic. You've got the magician. You've got the fool, and then you've got the magician, which shows to me that you are moving forward. You are going to make magic. Good on you guys. I'm so happy for you. I really am, and for myself. <laughs> anyway, I've pulled some sabilas on top of the Knight of uh, Cups. Now, I've got the enemy card first, um, Il Namiko. Um, he is looking towards the past, so I would say even though it looks as though he's moving into the future, he's looking to the past. So um, whatever situation, uh, you know, was unfolding, where you're focusing that your cups are spilt, the three cups are spilt here, and um, you are focusing on those three cups. I think you need to change your perspective um, because this enemy of yours is looking towards the other way. He's looking in the past. So um, usually when I have the enemy card um, first and he's looking towards the past, to me it means that we're getting over that which is great. It can only mean that because the rest of the cards are all very positive. Now next to that uh, there is the um, Alegria which means you are celebrating with your friends as uh, the Three of Cups card um, shows us as well. There are going to be celebrations. You're going to be feeling very um, harmonious, very happy and actually you'll be so happy that you'll be delirious. We've got the Delirante card which shows that you are being held up by your friends, you are being supported. Um, you are so, you know, over, over the top in love that you are feeling delirious. Wonderful, wonderful. Now the three Sibylas that are on top of the Ace of Swords, we've got the um, Imeneo, which means it's the um, relationship card. It's the card of marriage, the, the card of contracts. Um, relationship, love. Um, next to that we've got the uh, Letera which means news of love and then we've got the beautiful Gran Signore which is to me this guy is the the entrepreneur, this is the um, the knight in shining armor. So there's beautiful news coming in whether it's a woman or a man does not matter. Um, this person who is full of abundance, full of love, full of um, complete in every every way. He has got everything that a, a woman or a man desires. So um, the news is wonderful. The, um, you know, whatever came to light for you may have been a little bit difficult, but in the, um, down the track, it's all going to be positive, beautiful. Now the three Sibyllas on top of the Hierophant, we've got the card of Fortuna, which is the Wheel of Fortune, and this card has been very common in these readings as well. The karmic wheel of fortune is turning and it is turning in your favour. I can see next to that we've got the Namika which is the card of the enemy and then we've got the uh, Amalato which is the card of not having um, not having faith, not, uh, not seeing things in uh, a positive sense, um, feeling down, feeling melancholic. Um, that's what the enemy, that's what uh, the past is showing me. That's how I can see it. This is a thing of the past, but this is going to change. This, these two Sibyllas are on top of the Hierophant. And um, for, the, for those of you that are coming out of a marriage or a partnership, a long-term partnership where there was hardship and you were focusing on the three spilt cups, um, so things were not, things were not the way that they should have been. Um, there was depression. There was um, there was an imbalance. 
I think the wheel of fortune is changing. It's turning in your favour. And um, for those of you that are coming out of a partnership like that, uh, good on you. Um, it's not worth being in a relationship where there's, um, you know, troubles and, and no one, there's no understanding. Um, you're moving out of this and this is good to see. You are taking a leap of faith with a fool. So um, for those of you that, uh, that are um, meeting up with an old love, um, because I do have the Reunion Sibila card, which is on top of the Three of uh, Cups in the Environment position. For those of you that are having a Reunion, your lover is coming back. We've got the uh, La Mante, which is right next to the Reunion card. Um, as I said before, there is going to be a lot of reciprocity, a lot of understanding here. And you will be healing, because then we've got the card of the Dottore, and that is a card of healing and coming out of your hardship. So um, those of you who are single and uh, a person from the past is coming back, let's not forget Neptune is retrograde. So this can bring forth people from the past. I do see a reunion here. The karmic wheel of fortune is turning. Um, those of you who are, um, you know, getting together with an old past love, things are going to be wonderful. Those of you who are who were in a partnership and are coming out of that uh, or who have come out of that already, uh, you're at the stage where you're going to be healing. There is a new person walking in. As I said, it could be a water sign. Um, it could be a Taurus because we've got the card of the Hierophant. And uh, for some of you, it's just, uh, it could be another sign. Uh, it could even be a fire sign, but this person is showing uh, a lot of water in their sign. So it's going to be a very emotional um, month for all of you. Um, a positive, positive uh, month for you. Uh, end of July, I should say. Uh, or should I say, as soon as the sun moves into your sign, uh, the month ahead um, will be very positive, as it usually is. The universe, um, the universe makes sure of that. Usually around the birthday, our birthday time, things, all the blessings come in. So I do wish you well. Uh, I really do. Now, I have also pulled uh, a card from the um, chocolate message cards. And you guys got the caramel chocolate. And the, um, the title in the front says charm. And that's all about you, Leo, isn't it? That's just like you. You're all charm. That's for sure. Now on the uh, back side of the card, we, uh, we get the message that uh, this card signifies a time to practice the art of smooth talking. If you need to win a situation over, only your charm can ooze out the appeal that is needed to get you what you want. Loosen up. Avoid being so rigid and inflexible. Learn to communicate and let your intentions be known. Well, there's the message that you're letting someone know about. Welcome fluidity. Let your feelings flow. Take a writing class or join a debate team. You need to demonstrate poise and charm at this time. Communication is the key. And that is true. Communication is the key. It's the only way to go. And the message is life is flowing with rich abundance. So it looks like a lot of abundance is coming in for you. Uh, Leo, for your birthday month, as I said before, I wish you all a happy birthday and uh, I will um, catch up with you in um, for the August readings. Thank you so much for taking the time out. See you soon. Bye.